Hi, Julian. How are you today? I'm good. Like I'm surviving today. It's uh, it's almost the end, so yeah. You had a couple of training sessions in today. Yeah, some training sessions, helping out with the seminar and Mariposa. Right. Embarrassing. Oh, I think there's a lot of them. I think probably, I think it was a junior Grand Prix, and uh, I was getting ready to get on the ice for the six minute warm up with all the skaters, you know, pumped up, ready to go. And they announced the skaters to come on the ice. I, like, I jumped right in and I didn't take off my blade guards. <laughs> so I just, I just went out. I wiped out completely and everybody was looking at the stadium. And I was like, oh my God, what am I gonna do now? You know, before I even started, I already fell once. So I'm like, oh crap, okay, calm down. Let's just try this again. <laughs> so I stood up, took it off and pretend it didn't happen again. Not too bad, actually. Yeah, not too bad. Uh, so I didn't up. fall, so I already had my fall before the program. So that's a good thing. They don't deduct. And then the program was pretty good, so. Oh, that's great. Overall, not too bad, that's I would say. It's the perfect get-up mentality, right? I don't know. I think, idol-wise, for me, growing up in Malaysia, um, it was really just my coaches and the people around me. Because, okay. like, they, they gave a lot of advice. And, and really just set an example of how to be as a person, not just a skater. Um, but if we're looking at like skating skills and all that, um, programs, I grew up watching a lot of Paul Wiley and, and uh, Kurt Browning and all those old legends. Uh, because of my coach, he liked them very much, so he always showed me that. And um, I think currently right now, I, 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 I really do like the style of Daisuke Takahashi. Okay. He, his skating skills is just amazing as well as his performance, so that's some guy I really look up to. I, I never saw him skate live. I never got the opportunity, but I saw him like on video. Right, and okay. already on video, it gives you goosebumps. That means like that's insane. Right. And, and yeah, okay. thanks to YouTube though. Like, yeah. YouTube saves lives. thing is, we're all so tight as a figure skating community. Uh, you almost know everybody wherever you go because you're always competing with the same few people, right? right? Uh, for me, um, I'm, I don't know, like, when I first started skating, like competing internationally, um, it's funny, like we always, like I always mix with the Southeast Asians, Asians. You know, I think we just sort of, sort of like levitate towards that kind of thing. But after years, you sort of know more and more people. And um, it really depends on the competition, who's there. Let's say if, if uh, someone from Australia is there, then okay, that's your best friend for that competition because the rest are not here, that kind of thing. So it's always, everybody's sort of really close. It's funny because like from junior, you go up to seniors still with the same people because they grow old as you grow old, that kind of thing. So you see each other again and again and again, and like, hey you, hey you, and you're know, like, we always see each other, that kind of stuff. Yeah, definitely. Uh, not only skaters though, like getting to know the coaches and judges as well. Like it's it's always the same few people here and there. So it's 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 a great way to make connections and know people from around the world. What's it like? Oh, yeah. <laughs> lots of ups and downs. You know, like I think like anything you do in life, there's always ups and downs. Um, he's a fun guy. Like my coach. Um, very, very different, I would say, from many other coaches in terms of him being more outgoing, outspoken, and, and just letting the inner of me come out, especially when I skate, you know. Um, and he's always very encouraging. So it's, it's really the chemistry between coach and student, right? I find like uh, the chemistry between my coach and I, we drive very well. Uh, we, we always like to joke around, stupid stuff always uh, stupid stupid stuff we end up maybe i don't know swearing sometimes on the ice about some stuff talking about girls you know that always helps uh, <laughs> but yeah i think it's just being ourselves and and basically just doing what we can do and he's very passionate about the sport as well and so am i and it comes to a point where sometimes i get really frustrated with what i do and he's like okay you better stop now before you kill someone so he knows when to hold me back as well that kind of thing Weird things, 
There's quite a few, actually, quite a few. That's um, great. It's weird with, from me and from him too. You know, we all have our own quirks. Skaters are all different. I tell you that. Um, but one thing very funny with him is when at a competition, it looks like he's doing more like actions, jumps, and spins than I am on the ice at the boards. So when I'm doing my program, he does his own program outside too because he's always up and down, up and down, counting, counting, counting. So sometimes it's nicer to watch him than watch me on the ice. <laughs> you can see some audiences looking at him more than me. So I'm like, okay, he's the guy. He's the guy for the show, that kind of thing. Every time I'm on the ice, okay, it's, I always have to tighten my skates again, whether or not it's tight. I have this weird habit of just going to my laces Retying them, even though I know it's tight already, I just have to do that. And it's, I don't know where I got that from. It just <laughs> happened. Every competition as well, like, of course, not during the program. Right, yeah. right? <laughs> That part, like, nah, you ain't going down there. But, like, right before I take my position or at the warm up. So, I, I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> I just tend to just reach to my laces and tie them again. Honestly speaking, the senior competitions are, are, are a lot more fun uh, than the junior ones. I, I enjoyed my junior years at JGPs and all that, but the senior competitions, especially like world championships, those are amazing. My first world was Boston. That was really one heck of an experience because it was not only my first like worlds, but also because of the location like in the States, there was, the stadium was packed, like full. Skaters, if they wanted to watch, they had to be on top, like, like at the mountains to look down into the, the ring, so it's that full. And, and everybody there had like a great sense of, of uh, supportiveness for every skater. And, and it was just an amazing feeling. And then we have the Olympics as well, which is again, my very first time in Korea. And it was just different, you know, like from, from, from where we stayed to the whole village and all that was completely different. And, and I really enjoyed that. McDonald's. McDonald's? McDonald's. Why is McDonald's, that? like when the first thing you go in, you walk past the food hall. So the, the thing about Malaysians, like we love to eat. Our sport, national sport is eating. You know, <laughs> breakfast, lunch, dinner, tea, and supper. We have restaurants 24 hours. So walking past the dining hall every day, we always go in. <laughs> Like there's not a time where we just walk past. We always go in first and then out, like in a small detour. And then you see the big M sign. And then, oh, McDonald's, for free. Oh, right. It's free, because it's, it's free. the Olympics, yeah. yeah. So it's free for athletes and, and officials. So I, I just splurged out on McNuggets. <laughs> I'm like, I want to go to the Olympics because I want to have as much nuggets as I can. <laughs> well, that was one part of why I wanted to go. I think the experience of getting to know other athletes from different sports, not just figure skating, because every time we compete, it's always just figure skaters. Here we have like skiers, short track speed skaters, hockey players and all that. And um, just getting to know them, having a meal with them, and then at the games room, especially at the parades as well, that was just something that you, know, you will never forget because it's, it's, it's like a bond you create with, with all the other athletes, knowing that we all work hard to get to where we want to be. And I think that's, that's just something very different. It's, it's one of the toughest rings to get, <laughs> the Olympic rings. If I'm not a figure skater, I would still be something like to, to have involved with sports. I think, <laughs> I don't know what's life without sports right now because of figure skating, but I would very much like to, even though I was not introduced to skating. Like, it's funny, like I'm from a tropical country, but I like winter sports a lot. I enjoy like snowboarding, skiing, all of those. So I think something more towards that, something winter related. A different kind of sportsman. Maybe I'm not good at it, hey, who knows? But at least try it out and see. But apart from that, I really enjoy cooking as well. I can cook Malaysian food, yes, but it's very complex. So not exactly my favorite to cook. My favorite to eat, yes. I like to make fusion style food. Like, it makes a Western, Asian, different experiment, different stuff. I love Japan. There's nothing that can go wrong in Japan. The food, the people, just 
things you see there, it's just mind blowing. Uh, I love Japanese food. Japanese people are very nice and polite. You know, everything's on time. Not like some countries, like Malaysia, it's not always on time. Um, and, and it's just, it's, there's so many things you can do there. I'm super, I'm excited. I can't wait to go to Worlds. But first, like, of course, we have to fight our way through to get to Worlds, but um, I would very much like to be there. <laughs> Hawaii. Hawaii? Hawaii. What is that? Uh, I don't know, something about Hawaii that seems really cool to me. You know, like, like the beaches, um, the nice girls at the beaches, <laughs> uh, Hawaiian food. It's, it's really cool because it's like, it's like a mix again, like fusion. You know, and, and I don't know, it, people always say Hawaii is very nice. And, and also, um, Hawaii Five-0, all, right. all those Hawaii-related stuff. I, I, I just, I think it's a really cool place. Favorite pastime? Um, I think there's a few. For me, like, I like to cook, like I said before, so cooking is, is something that I really enjoy and, and time flies when I'm cooking. Either because I'm enjoying it or I'm just really slow at it. <laughs> Either one. Um, uh, apart from that, like as much time as I can get to, to hang out with my friends and all that, especially back when I was in high school, because um, skating took up a lot of time of my life. So whenever I had the time, I could hang out with my friends. I, I really enjoyed that a lot. Yep, like music, yeah, definitely music. But I, the funny thing about me is I, I don't have like a, a set kind of music that I, I really love. It really depends on my mood. And, and um, I'm not, to say, a, an expert in music. Like, I don't remember names and bands and all that. Like, of course, the famous ones, yes, but I don't have like, oh, I really love this band so much. You know, I, I enjoy them all, and it really depends on how I feel that day. Movies, love them. I'm not really a book guy, I have to be honest. Reading is not quite my thing, so I, my, my idea is, if the book is good enough, they'll make it to a movie. If it's not a movie, it's not worth reading. Universe, oh my god, there's so many. You know, growing up, I really wanted to be in Harry Potter. Like, that was, that was like, oh, I wish I got a wand, you know, hello, you know, <laughs> all the British accents and all that, but I think, yeah, that would be really cool. Yeah. And just to be in his shoes, like Harry Potter. Sure. That, that's something amazing, I think. I think the perfect day is to, to wake up early, but not very early. <laughs> not like four or five in the morning, <laughs> you know? 6.37 is fine. Make some breakfast, homemade, home-cooked breakfast. Take my time eating the breakfast, and then um, head off and start the day with a nice sunny day outside. That kind of thing. Um, if I have time and if the weather is good, yes. In Malaysia, I have to be honest, no, it's too hot. So the funny thing in Malaysia is, is we, we all, a lot of us drive in Malaysia. Public transport, yes, there is, but not many people take them that who are able to own a car and drive. We always opt to drive because uh, we want to get from point A to point B with the least amount of exposure in the sunlight because it's so hot. Like, the funny thing is, Parking, like there's a lot of parking spots, like here in Canada and the States, plenty. It's just a little bit far away. Here, I don't mind parking far away and walking to the place I have to be. Back home, no. Even there's a lot of parking further away, I wait in the car and go around and around until I find the closest one. So that I don't have to walk that far because of the heat. Because once you step out, it's like you're taking a shower and sweat. It's not very nice. A lot of people like it. Like a lot of foreigners love Malaysian heat. and. And I'm just like, uh, what? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Like, we, we would die to have your weather, that kind of thing. Timberlake or Bieber? Timberlake. Adidas or Nike? Nike. Coke or Pepsi? Coke. Sweet or salted? Salt. Coffee or tea? Coffee. Dog or cat? Dog. Android or Apple? Android. Vanilla or chocolate? Vanilla. Smooth or cr crunchy peanut butter? Smooth. Burger or taco? Burger. Hot or iced tea? 
Hot. Dolphin or shark? Shark. Koala or panda? Panda. Skiing or snowboarding? Snowboarding. Ping pong or tennis? Ping pong. All right. Last question. To end this. MK Blades or John? MK. All right. There MK. we go. That was it. MK awesome. is the way to go. Great. Great. Yeah.